Hey guys, welcome back to the math office. It's a quick one today. We're going to talk about equilateral triangles. There's really not much to it. An equilateral triangle is simply a triangle with three congruent sides. So if we look at our diagram here, we can see that this side, this side, and this side are all congruent to each other. One important fact about equilateral triangles, they are also equiangular. That means all three of their angles are the same measure. And in fact, in an equilateral triangle, that measure is 60 degrees. So let's write this in here. Each angle in an equilateral triangle is 60 degrees. Right? So let's take a look at a quick example problem using equilateral triangles. All right, we've got a quick example problem up here on the board. Uh, we have to solve for x and we have to solve for y. Uh, we can see here that this angle is equal to 10x, and these two sides are equal to 5x plus 10 and 8y. First, we've got to solve for x, and we can do that just using 10x. If you remember what I said a moment ago, every angle in an equilateral triangle is equal to 60 degrees. So we can say that 10x equals 60. Then all we have to do is just divide both sides by 10. And x equals 6. All right, that's one of our answers. Now we've got to figure out what y is. First, we've got to plug in 6 for x up here. So 5 times 6 plus 10 will give us the length of one of these sides. So 5 times 6 plus 10, that's equal to 30 plus 10, whoops, get ahead of myself, 30 plus 10 equals 40. All right, so the length of each one of these sides is 40. So 40 goes here, 40 goes here, 40 goes here. All right, so 8y is also equal to 40. Let me move over here, do the work up here. So 8y equals 40. We just have to divide both sides by 8, divide by 8, divide by 8, y equals 5. So there you go, x equals 6, y equals 5. There's a quick example problem using equilateral triangles. And that's all the time we have for the math office today. I gotta go run and get a haircut, so I will see you guys soon.